What's up, YouTube world? I'm back. Believe it or not, I'm back. I figured I'd put a video up just because I've gotten a lot of messages asking, hey, man, when are you going to get back out there? When are you going to start fishing again? And uh, to be honest with you, I don't know. Uh, YouTubing is not the easiest thing in the world to do. Uh, by the time you cut a video, you got four more hours editing the video. It's just, it, it, it kind of takes away the fun of fishing, takes away the fun of doing anything you're doing because you're so stressed out about making an awesome video. Well, why don't you cry about it? Saddlebag. Um, I don't have a huge channel. Uh, I do have about 1500, 1600 followers that, you know, do pay attention and, uh, and I've gotten quite a few messages. So I appreciate all the support you guys been watching the videos. I know they're getting a little, uh, long in the tooth, as you could say, they don't really apply to today's fishing world. And that's kind of why I don't really enjoy fishing anymore. The fishing world has changed so much. Everybody out there is a YouTuber now. Uh, they're all filming their videos. Every pro is out there doing it. It's just kind of lost its luster. And, and to be honest with you, it's very repetitive. Everybody makes the same video over, over, over. And I'm just like, I can't, I don't even want to do it. It's boring. It's boring content. Uh, unless you're catching a 30 pound fish, you know, I actually like the saltwater videos more than I like the bass fishing videos anymore just because they're so repetitive. Everybody does the same thing. It's a constant grind. I love watching lunkers fail at these tournaments because that's the reality of fishing. What you see out of the top 10 pros is not the reality of fishing or the guys that fish in their backyard or go to the same pond every day. I mean, he's even said it on his videos that he hits the same five ponds or same waters, knows exactly where to go fish, and can rip out a video in two or three hours, and he's going to make five grand on that video. And at the end of the day, this YouTube world is about making money, and they've just taken away the ability to really make money on this, this platform anymore. You have to join Patreon. You have to join some other form that's going to help grow your channel. Growing your channel organically just doesn't seem to happen. You need to link up with somebody. Unfortunately, I am not in an area where I can link up with a lot of other YouTubers. And I, to be honest with you, in Cincinnati, there's not many outdoor YouTubers, to be honest with you, that are at least successful. I've linked up with a couple of them. but So anyway, so that's why I haven't been doing fishing videos. And I sold my bass boat, which I've mentioned in another video I made. Um, I got a whole lot of sellout comments. But you know what? It's time to grow up you know, bass fishing, ideally to have the best case scenario, you need a bass boat, you need a runabout, and you need a wake boat. If you have all three of those and you can afford all three of those, then fishing is fun. Boating is fun. Um, and you know, wakeboarding is fun. So you get the best of all three worlds. Um, I actually, with a couple of my buddies went in on a, uh, 21 foot runabout, which as we're talking, I'm going to be, it's, it'll be cutting to it. Um, I am again here in Cincinnati, Ohio, uh, not real close to a, a big solid lake. So we use the river quite a bit. We actually store the boat on the river. Um, it's a 21 foot bay liner. Uh, bay liner redid the entire models, uh, I guess in like 2015 or 16. And ours is a two year old. Well, it's, it was 2018. Um, 21 foot VR5 bay liner with some upgrades. It has the wake tower on it. Uh, we put about $1,500 into a stereo system on it um, and uh, just some small upgrades. I, of course, because I'm a fisherman, I wanted a GPS, so I put a fish finder in it um, and a GPS Garmin, or not Garmin, um, what did I, I bought a Helix 5, I think. It's like 350 bucks. I don't even use the transducer in it. I just, just use it for GPS strictly, which actually works out really great. Um, and it's just a great boat. We can put about eight to 10 people on there, depending on where we're boating at. Um, we just spent some time in uh, Lake Monroe, which I've never been there. So if you guys are bass fishermen, I would definitely go to that lake. That lake's primo for uh, uh, bass fishing. A lot of coves, a lot of, uh, it's a big, wide lake which uh, makes boating a little bit more pleasurable because you're not getting beat up like you are in, uh, you know, some of these other narrow bodies of water. Um, and uh, I'm just sure it's a pretty good bass f 
fishing lake. I think Jacob Wheeler probably fished on that lake quite a bit. Uh, he's from that area or that, that neck of the woods in Indiana. But, yeah, so I had to move out of the bass fishing world. So I got to run about. I know I'm a sellout in the bass fishing world. It's really kind of hindered bass fishing, period, because I don't really want to pond fish. I'm not really that. It's not that much fun anymore to me. It's too easy. And then I don't have a bass boat anymore. And all my bass boat buddies are uh, fishing tournaments or we just can't link up. So I don't really stress out about it. I have a whole lot of fishing gear. If somebody wants to buy some, just hit me up. Uh, I'll happily sell off some of the stuff because I don't need 15 or 16 rods like I used to carry. And I don't need, you know, $5,000 worth of bait anymore or, or lures. So, yeah, it's all there. Um, and that's it. So, you know, I got some video footage of uh, me out on the river. If anybody's been to Cincinnati, it's actually really pretty right now on the river. The river's low. When the river's low, the river is actually somewhat pretty. I sat in front of uh, Great American Ballpark and watched the game or listened to the game while I sat there and uh, flew my drone around. And, uh, you know, as you see in these clips here, it really is. Cincinnati's a super pretty city. Um, yeah, so, I mean, socially, the boat has been fun, getting into wakeboarding a little bit, getting into some water sports. And uh, to be honest with you, uh, when you could sit and be with, you know, six of your buddies or friends, it's a little bit better than fishing alone for eight hours. I don't care who, who you are. But you hardcore fishermen, have at it. I love the fact that, uh, as I said earlier on, that Lunker's – the, the amount of money he's invested into this tournament fishing. If you guys are doing tournament fishing, more power to you. I mean, I got a good buddy, Lenny Bays, that does it on a co-angler uh, way, and it's actually somewhat affordable, and you can actually win some money and grow your brand a little bit, which is probably the strategic way to go. But jumping into these, you know, tournaments that are – Twenty five hundred dollars, you know, to buy in, and it's just a just it's kind of a confusing. Like I don't even understand how people can financially do that and expect to, you know, finish in the top twenty. I mean, there's it, two hundred fifty boats per tournament. I mean, it just the odds are just not in your favor, and just financially, unless you're sponsored, I I don't know how you can how you guys can uh, do it. But hey, if you do it, more power to you. You got a passion for something I just have lost the passion for. So just I don't think it's 225 boats. You got these guys paying all this money. I think there's probably a better way to do it, but anyway. Um so what's going on in my wildlife? Business is busy. Uh coronavirus is uh I guess kicking back up a little bit, but you know, we're still able to host weddings and and I'm able to cater events, which is all good stuff. And um you know, Cash is doing good. My dog, he's uh, getting a little bit older, four years old actually yesterday. So happy birthday to my main man, Cash. He's still hanging in there. And that's it. Life is uh, pretty good. And I hope you guys are all doing well. And uh, I really uh, hope you stay tuned. I will put some videos out. I've been kind of dabbling in some TikTok and, and goofy stuff uh, just because uh, YouTube – it's kind of boring just videotaping a bunch of people sitting on a boat uh, and drinking because that's basically what you do on a on a on a runabout boat. You enjoy the weather and you drink and you and you socialize. Doesn't really make for good YouTube content. Although I would venture to say there are some people out there that have a have a channel all about it because if you go on YouTube, you can find anything and everything. Uh, anyway, so thanks for all the support, guys. I appreciate uh, you watching the videos. That's my update. Uh, I know it's a bit of a ramble, uh, but stay tuned. I'll get some content out there when I do some fun vacations and things like that. And if I go fishing again, which I will, uh, I do still like fishing. Uh, I'll definitely put those up if I make a video out of it. Uh, but, yeah, I'm still alive. If any of y'all got any recommendations of where to go with a channel like this, let me know because I'm a little confused on how you can find some passion in this and still get some views and make a little side money. Um, but yeah, anyway, stay tuned. Appreciate all the support. I'll talk to you guys soon.